for the water. Now get 0% financing for 60 months, plus 3,000 total bonus cash on the 2022 Grand Cherokee 4xE. Or get 12,500 in lease support on the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Video of a terrifying and dangerous situation on board a recent flight. We'll have the details on what exactly, exactly happened just ahead. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian. We're live here in Stevenson Ranch and we're talking about Memorial Day travel. Take a look behind me. This is the five freeway expected to be the busiest freeway this weekend. We'll also talk about the busiest times. That's next. And good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. In honor of Memorial Day, veterans and U.S. service members can get free gas today. We'll tell you where. It's a great weekend to be in San Pedro. L.A. Fleet Week officially underway. Come celebrate the nation's sea service next. Podcaster. Oh my, okay. I thought either way. To, hi, I'm Sarah Van New here at 10 o'clock. A podcaster suing his podcast company. We'll tell you about that. And she's live with us, Aisha Tyler. We'll talk about criminal minds and more. He had a man. Oh. Mine was on the whole time, too. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, 10 o'clock, and it's really starting to break up out there. Uh, we're getting some shots. Look at that uh, from LAX. The sun is busting through. Uh, right here in Hollywood, still a little bit of haze, but things are starting to clear out a little bit faster today, so hopefully we'll be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Coastal 65, 69, downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley 72, 69, Orange County inland, 73 for the Inland Empire in the high desert, 77 degrees. Jessica, back to you. Mark, thank you. Developing news this morning, a taxi driver is dead after being hit head-on by a wrong-way driver. Happened just before 3 a.m. this morning on the 110 freeway near Exposition Boulevard. According to the California Highway Patrol, a Chevy Cruze was going southbound in the northbound lanes when the crash happened. The unidentified taxi driver was pronounced dead at the scene. His passenger was taken to the hospital with major injuries and two people in for more than two hours. After shutting them down for more than two hours. San Bernardino County firefighters are looking into the cause of a massive fire at a recycling yard. It happened just after midnight at East Santa Ana Street and Etiwanda Avenue in Fontana. When firefighters arrived, much of the yard was on fire. It's unclear what type of materials burned. Firefighters battled that fire from the ground as well as from ladders above the fire. There were no injuries. Millions of people are expected to hit the road for the holiday weekend, and if you haven't left town yet, you may want to get going soon before traffic really starts to stack up. KTLA's Alina Bovian live in Stevenson Ranch with what to expect. Alina, good morning. Hi there. Well, for this one, we wanted to change things up a little bit and actually show you the traffic because it is starting to build. Take a look behind me. You can see this is the five freeway. People either going north or south, whether they're going upstate or possibly taking this route to go to L.A. for the weekend, Orange County or San Diego. Just keep in mind specifically the stretch between L.A. and San Diego of the five freeway is going to be the busiest as far as local freeways are concerned this Memorial Day weekend, specifically on Sunday. It could take you about three three hours just to get there. Now talking about busy travel, take a look at this list. These are all the busiest times for the next few days. Today, between three o'clock and six o'clock, it's gonna be jam packed on the freeway. Sunday, between noon and three o'clock. Also Monday, between four o'clock and six o'clock. Now the best time to leave the house, if you have not done so already, it's going to be before noon today, Monday before 10 a.m. or after six o'clock on Monday. The busiest freeways, take a look at this for this week. Again, I-5, of course, no surprise there, but it is going
going to be exceptionally busy, about 47% busier than usual, especially on Sunday afternoon. Now, the returning route from Las Vegas to LA, Las Vegas is another popular site where people are leaving for the weekend. It's expected to be about 41% busier than usual, especially Monday around midday. Now, regardless of where you're traveling to this weekend, the CHP is asking everyone to be extra cautious. They will be out patrolling heavily this weekend. 45 people were killed in crashes statewide last year during Memorial Day holiday, and 900 people were pulled over for a DUI. CHP's maximum enforcement period will begin tonight at 6 o'clock and will continue until midnight Monday. This is going to be a busy weekend for travel, especially on the road. According to Auto Club, 2.8 million Southern Californians. destinations for local travel. Take a look at this. For Southern Californians, this includes Las Vegas, San Diego, Santa Barbara, Grand Canyon, and Palm.